Well hello there, I'm Christine and welcome to my channel. If you have been here before I'd like to thank you for subscribing and following me and um, sharing because um, it's just I just really appreciate what you're doing and I love your comments. I do comment back and um, I appreciate that really as well. If you are new here I hope you enjoy what you see and um, I'd love to hear your feedback, what you think. But Today's video with what I want to talk about is a reading for Pisces people for the month of June 2021. It's a general reading so take what fits and leave what doesn't fit. So what I'm going to do now is change profiles or scenes I should say and um, shuffle the cards for Pisces. Well it seems to me we're getting a lot of reads with pentacles in them money 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 holding on to money knowing what you've got with your money and looking after your own money um, I'm working with Pam's vintage tarot uh, I've been reading with it a long time so it's uh, I have a good connection with it I also am going to be doing an astrology spread it's a very and it's a big general spread uh, and Normally you'll see it in books read as a circle, but I'm reading it as a tableau because it allows me to connect the cards and read other cardamancy te techniques um, used from other systems, uh, which is just the way I read now. And then at the end I draw an oracle card from the Making Magic Oracle by Priestess Moon. So Pisces. There we go, and let's take it from the top. So Pisces, you have a lot of people in your cards today looking at your cards for June. So maybe it's a very social time for you and lots of conversations. Um, there's this atmosphere around you of conversations, moving along, work conversations, family conversations and um, various aspects of life. But there's a lot of being, <laughs> you're a water sign and you're the communicator of the water signs Pisces. So what's new um, when we look at that so you're going to find you're going to be talking about money your day-to-day -day finances you've been working very hard and you're thinking what can I do I'm feeling closed perhaps with my finances maybe money's not going along as you would like it to do and there's a part of you that wants to look to the future Pisces and think yes what other opportunities are out there for me so it's a little bit of a thinking time so you also find that you're going to be withdrawing down with your money a little bit Pisces because you're working hard and it's your money and you're wanting to accumulate that and get on top of finances for you You've got people, you can expect to hear news from people who are doing quite well. You can expect to hear news from people who are very happy and abundant. And you probably would take, you'll be having some conversations about abundance and attracting abundance yourself because there's this whole energy of wanting to get ahead, wanting to build the future and what it is that you can manifest with your plans. But you're prepared to do the work, Pisces. You're prepared to put the effort in. Um, with the month of June so that's important it, I've got a woman in the house here either coming into the house Aquarius Gemini or Libra it's an um, air sign woman and that person is going to be <laughs> a little bit dictating to you and you're going to be thinking I'm going to escape to work so I can get away from them <laughs> because the lessons you are learning is that if you put your head down and do your work keep out of trouble things go well because you are caught between these two people you are caught between two people and the best way is to look after yourself you could find that there's this man there as well predominantly in your um, life 
for the month of June, which is Gemini, Aquarius and Libra once again. And it feels like you're just going to be caught between the two people. You're going to put your head down and work because you have your own goals that you are wanting to do. And that's what's important for you and who you're talking to. You, you've taught, you've, lucky you've got your friends and there's change getting talked, there's opportunities getting talked about and there's also planning for the future for you Pisces and that's important as well. You are attracted to people who are wanting to move on in life. You're attracted to people who are wanting to improve their life. So if you are in a, looking for a relationship, you're going to be attracted to someone who is prepared to do the work to improve their lives. You want someone that's on the same, sharing the same values, if you like, because values are quite important to you um, with this reflection that you've been doing. And uh, if, you're, if you're not looking for someone, well, then you're just busy um, helping other people get on with their lives as well. If you're, you're in a relationship, you're both moving together to make improvement. As I said, it's a general reading, Pisces, so take what fits and leave what doesn't fit because, um, as I said, it's a general reading and that's what these readings are all about. So you have this uh, way of knowing that you're wanting to make changes in your day-to-day -day finances you've put a little bit of a restriction on yourself so you can build something for the future and that's important as well what's going to give you meaning is it's all about your values at the moment Pisces what you value being around like-minded people and doing the right thing by your values and that's important too and being with like-minded people so you can expect your friendships to be people that value what you want value changing in your life because the last thing you're wanting Pisces is to feel that you are stuck in a rut and your friends are going to be sharing this with you there's new things going to happen at work for you there's a new opportunity going to happen for you at work and there's communication around that so keep your ears to the ground if you're looking for a new job um, keep your ears open because you are communicating so it's all about what you hear and communicating with other people for friends for opportunities come through work work opportunities coming through friends and that's what's important for you it's all about that connection um, for you Pisces of being able to network 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 so that you can keep the ball rolling in the direct the move like moving in the direction where you want it to go and it the wheel is there to remind you that it doesn't matter where you are on this journey of wanting to get things done and your life plan it's just that you keep moving and you keep it moving in that direction that you want it to go because ultimately you want some sort of self-reliance you're wanting to be you run your own destiny is what i'm getting from that but what you do need to be aware of of not making burning out and be, be by being over focused so it's important that you have some enjoyment get out in the countryside get that sort of bit of balance happening and communicating with friends that are nurturing for you as well to keep that life balance by the end of it all there's still this energy for you Pisces around an air sign female um, feminine energy or person um, and like uh, as I said Aquarius Libra or Gemini and that person is going to be quite predominant in your life over the month of June and also you're going to be working out what fits and what doesn't fit so there you have it Pisces oh we haven't have it we're still going to do our oracle read for Pisces what's the overall energy from the making magic oracle And taking it from the top oh fire energy we have one two three four lots of fire energy there and it's all about the element of fire it's going to herald new life positions of transformation coming in here maybe that's what we're seeing the kings as well but I generally like to read them as people but 
it can be seen as that sort of being in charge, which I came to at the end, was it like you're wanting to be in charge of your own destiny with all this sort of um, cards the way they were having, and a positive transformation at that. So keep communication open, keep focused on your values and what's important to you, keep moving on the wheel of life, because it's about being that control of your destiny in that sense for you Pisces. So thanks for watching. Um, I look forward to your comments if this reading resonates with you. If you have any questions please email me or put a comment and I do answer them all and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye for now.